I'm Allie Grace and this is my book review for Boys for Sale by Mark Finks. Boys for Sale is about a kid who um, his parents are poor and they don't have food and everything and then they get this opportunity to send him to what they think is a prestigious school um, for him to build his talents and learn more and then he'll go to college after that and have a job and everything like that but in reality he's going to a human trafficking ring and the story also parallels the life of the guy who runs the human trafficking ring and he has a son and they start you know seeing him and his son interacting and things unravel with his son where he starts to think well if my son was in this human trafficking ring how would I feel I wasn't sure what rating to give this, but I ended up giving it a three and a half rating. I'm saying that I'm giving it a three and a half and I wasn't sure because it's human trafficking. You know what you're going to get. You're going to get these vivid images that you don't want to really read about. You know, they're hard. It's hard. It makes you just, you know, so you're so disgusted with what you're reading. but. You know, it wasn't something that I hadn't seen before with this topic of human trafficking. And it's always the same story that you're getting. You know, this kid wants to get out of it and everything like that. But the twists weren't really, you know, they didn't surprise me. But it was a really well written story. And the twists that the twists and stuff and how it all unfolds is it's pretty good you know so I'm not saying I totally hated this it was good um but I also want to say that the purpose of this book rang true through the whole thing like I understood what the author was trying to say and saying you know bringing human trafficking to light and in the end um there's a little part in the there's a part in the beginning that's a disclaimer about why, you know, that you're not going to get something that's a cute story or anything like that. And then there's, in the end, he tells you why he actually wrote this story and what's it for and the cause and everything like that. And for a writing for the cause and why he wrote this book, you know, stars beyond a million because you want people to write books that have meaning and bring something to light. But as a story, I'm going to give it a three and a half. And as a purpose, you know, ten stars. I'm so, like, you know, I really like stories that bring things to light. My three W's. One, who would I recommend this book to? I would recommend this book to anybody who is trying to understand human trafficking and anybody who doesn't really know what it is and they want like a fictional way to get into what it is definitely good um, I would also recommend this to people who are advocating um, human trafficking like against it that's another thing you know to show how rough it is but in a fictional setting number two would I share this with a friend or you um, I definitely would share this with people, you know, it's a tough read, so you have to want to read this thing. I don't really know how to say, like, oh, like, I'm, if my friend asks me, like, I need something that's hard-hitting, you know, okay, you read this book. But if you want something that's cute and fun, then you read the disclaimer and you'll understand why he's giving you this disclaimer. Three, would I read this book again? Definitely not going to read this book again. There is a second book coming out. I'm not exactly sure if I will read that book. But I think that everybody should check out the campaign that is linked with this book. And I will definitely put that in the description if you are at the website, my YouTube channel, then everything will be underneath for you to check that out. Because you definitely should check this out. Um, Human trafficking is horrible, and you should definitely check that out. This has been my review of Boys for Sale by Mark Finks. If you're at my YouTube channel right now, all the links to this book and the campaign that I was talking about earlier will be below, as well as ways to contact me to give me any more book suggestions that you might have, 
or any comments you want to leave me. Happy reading!